Hi, my name is Paul Sylvester and I am an MSP consultant having over 10 years of experience working with various MSP companies and running service desks and MSP teams. In this series of videos, we're going to take a look at the onboarding process and how you can be successful bringing a customer on board. As you know, onboarding is a very expensive business and many companies do not make money onboarding customers. However, the whole process of onboarding a customer is designed or you want it to be designed so that when a customer has day one support from yourself, it is perfect or as good as perfect as you can be. So following these tips will give you the best chance to ensure that your onboarding process is on point and that your customers have a relatively painless experience when they transition from their old MSP to your services. So tip number one of three, create a clear and workable onboarding process. Your onboarding process mustn't be left to chance. You need to rehearse it. You need to know exactly what kind of information you need to gather in order for your teams to be able to support your new customer. Don't leave it to the last minute. Make sure that you have planned this in advance, gather all the team members that need to be involved with this and create a very clear and concise plan. And that leads on nicely to tip number two. Tip number two, create a checklist. This checklist is going to be a fluid document. Now what I mean by that is that it's going to evolve. It's going to incorporate many various strains of technology that you may not have thought about at that point when you first create the checklist. So allow your checklist to be changeable and a flowing document, but ensure that it has the information that allows your engineer to methodically go through the process of onboarding your customer. Remember, the most vital part of onboarding is ensuring that you do this in the most cost-effective way but ensuring that you're capturing all the information that you need to capture for your customer. So again, design this checklist from the ground upward and make sure that you have all the players involved needed to ensure that that checklist is efficient. Tip number three, use software to gather in assets. A customer telling you that they have 15 desktop machines, five laptops, a router, and maybe a server is not enough information for you to have a successful onboarding process. You need to have software because customers aren't aware of every single device that you need to know about that is part of their infrastructure. So using software, asset gathering, scanning tools to ensure that you're collating all the assets is a vital piece and also will save you a lot of time. But of course, if you're MSP, you're not just there to support devices and you're, you're there to also make money. So you need to ensure that you've captured all the information that you need in order to ensure that the contract is right. So having a good piece of scanning software that will collect that asset and will continue to do so because one time scanning is not enough, you need to ensure that you've captured all the assets and if you have people who are remote, uh, who are perhaps only in the office occasionally, you need to ensure that your software that you're using will allow you to capture that information and thus add that asset to your support portfolio for that customer. So it's vital that you have the right piece of software. Onboarding a customer can be challenging, but putting these three tips into action will ensure that you have the best opportunity to ensure that you capture the information that you need and ensure, most importantly, that your customer enjoys a successful onboarding process. Of course, InBay will be able to help you with all of these suggestions and will indeed enhance your onboarding process. So why don't I talk to some of our team today who will be happy to assist you.